Hi, I'm Georgia Brooks. And I'm Farah Eid. And this is Aquaculture. <laughs> Intensive aquaculture is an unnatural form of aquaculture that gives fish foods that were not found in nature, such as chicken pellets. It takes place on land in tanks. Extensive aquaculture is a natural form of aquaculture that gives fish natural foods. This form of aquaculture uses nets and water sources to grow fish. Tuna are obtained using nets attached to tugboats and are then placed into farming cages. Therefore, extensive aquaculture is used. The method employed relies upon the collection of wild juvenile tuna and is often referred to as ranching. Divers will signal to stop the feeding process when the tuna stop eating. This occurs one to three times a day. Some anthropogenic effects of extensive aquaculture include threatening population by taking juvenile fish from natural habitats, pollution from food, and death from predators due to collisions with nests. It also kills benthic organisms because it reduces the amount of oxygen within the water. Introduction of invasive species causes increased competition when the fish inside the nets escape. Escaped fish could also spread diseases. Ways to resolve these issues could be not overfeeding fish to avoid excess food and waste, protective nets to avoid escaping fish, and to protect predators using nets that cannot see the fish, and take tuna after reproduction to avoid endangerment of the tuna population. Some key requirements for sustainable aquaculture include using natural plant-based foods, not depleting necessary local resources, not introducing invasive species to an area in order to avoid competition between the two species, and having a long-term economic support to provide areas with food. This is an example of extensive aquaculture that holds a greater population density than intensive aquaculture, and here are more examples that are found all around the world. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.